Right now, Santa Barbara is in a crisis. It's in a crisis period. People may not realize it. Many times people don't want to hear what I have to say because I'm not about playing games. I see too many children's lives ruined by being in prison. I see too many families lose their children to the prison system simply because they aren't educated to what the legal system is about. So I already know Kathy's going to win. And one of the things that I'm looking forward to and one of the things we need to do as community people is to make sure that our elected officials are accountable. It's one thing to get them elected. It's another thing to be on their doorstep <laughs> three days after the election and telling them about the issues that we talked about during the campaign. Because too often that gets lost in the translation. A little bit about Pueblo. I also have been with Pueblo since its beginning. And I don't really like to talk about Pueblo without talking about this man right over here, Grant House, who with the East Side, <laughs> with the East Side study group set the model that Pueblo was built off of. So let's not forget that history is important because when you don't know the history, people use it against you. All right? So you can't tell me that Pueblo didn't pop up. No. Grant had set a model that was flawless on the east side. The things that got done on the east side are still being benefited by today. Pueblo followed in that model, and now with Mark, who I've known since he was a kid, I'm happy to be back with Pueblo, because I know and I trust his integrity, his intelligence, and his ability to lead. We have still a lot more to do before election day. And I raised this with Kathy a little earlier, and I'm going to raise it now because it's something that we you kind of need to plan and think about as volunteers. This is a write-in election, all right? Which means 60% of the Latino community is probably not even going to vote because they don't know that it's a write-in election. A mail-in, you mean? A mail-in. I'm sorry, mail-in election. They don't know it's a mail-in election. If they do know it, they're going to need help filling out their forms, even if they have them. A lot of them don't have them. Now, <laughs> I bring this up, and, and I'm, I'm not bringing it up to bring everything down. I'm saying it's not something that's insurmountable. You can get in your car with a bullhorn, drive around the east side and the west side, and just say it. You know? That's what I did. I got an old 50s <laughs> truck, and I went to the parking lot in Scolari's and just start talking to the people. And you know what the people said? No one ever even bothered to come ask us to vote. All right? So we can't take things for granted in this world. America is changing. Santa Barbara is a microcosm of a macrocosm. It's happening in Iowa. It's happening in New York. It's happening everywhere. Our rights are being infringed on only because we've become so complacent and so afraid because jobs are down, this is down, that's down. People can't think about, oh, what well, do I have to, oh, I got to fill this out and then where do I have to carry it? Mm -hmm. There are people out there that think they're going to go to Franklin Center and vote. There's no voting at Franklin Center. This is a serious thing.